Hey, how you doing? I've put this video together today um, about how to ease your dog into blindness, whether that be that you've just found out that your dog is blind or that they might have a condition which might lead to blindness and you want to prepare for that. I've just put some tips and tricks together and I hope you find them useful. So here we go. So you're going to want to start putting markers down. And what I mean by that is things like mats or rugs um, that will help your dog feel different textures underneath his or her feet when they're walking from room to room or maybe they want to go outside so they know where to wait at the back door to sort of say like I need to go to the toilet um, and also like a mat outside so when they come back in they know where to stand to wait to come back in if you're not out there with them. You're also going to want to talk to your dog more it just will ease them and soothe them just to know that you are there. Use a radio or have the TV quite low on volume in a particular room in the house. I would suggest probably like your main living space so that the dog knows when they're in and around that space and it will again just help them to feel a little bit eased and soothed just to be able to hear that. Have a space for the dog's bed and don't move it. This is their safe zone where they can go and they know that everything's going to be okay. It's also going to be their reset zone as well. So when you when your dog first goes blind, they may get really confused as to where they are. And what you can do is lead them back into their bed and it sort of resets them so that they know where they are again. So this next one might be quite challenging for some people. Um, leave your furniture where it is. Don't start rearranging things or think, oh, that cabinet looks better over there and we can move the settee over here and have the TV over there or we'll turn the bed around this way. Especially if it's a room that your dog spends a lot of time in because it will cause them confusion and you'll sort of be back to step one. Um, so try to leave everything where it is. You're also going to want to danger proof your house. So what I mean by this is if you have a dog that is the same height as the coffee table, um, and they're likely to turn around quickly and bash their head into it and it could hurt them especially if it's a sharp corner you're going to want to cover up that corner um, so the best way to do this is get on all fours walk around as if you were your dog and look out for the hazards that you can see around you and cover them up so that it avoids any pain for your dog in the future so this one isn't something that I do personally um, but it does help a lot of people um, is to get a waterfall bowl um, for the water for your dog so it sort of makes a noise so your dog can tell where it is. Um, my dog knows where the water bowl is, I'm quite confident that she's happy to go and get a drink of water if she wants it so I personally don't use one but if you're struggling or if you think your dog's maybe not drinking as much water or if they've just gone blind and they're a little bit confused this will definitely help them. So you're also going to want to keep to the same walk at the moment as well um whether that be something local or a particular park that your dog might enjoy going to um whether they're maybe becoming blind or maybe they already are blind to start with they're going to want to start to build their confidence up and by building this up they can do it much much quicker if they do the same walk every single time that they go on a walk so they'll get used to the paths, the different textures under their feet. Um, there'll be different smells for them to smell each time because there's different dogs coming past. But there will be that sort of similarity and that, that safety that they know sort of where they are, how long's left of the walk. Um, yeah, so to start with, I really would recommend just keeping it to the same. Um, and then once your dog is confident, then you can look at maybe trying some different things further down the line. Also, when you're out and about on walks, it is worth getting some bells as like an anklet or to tie around your shoelaces or if you've got another dog to put them on their collar so that your dog feels that security and that safety knowing where you are and where that other dog might be that they can follow. An obstacle that you might come across as well are stairs. Um, you can either help your dog with this by giving them commands to go up and down a step so they, they sort of know where they are. You can get a stair gate if you don't want them to sort of tackle this on their own. Um, what I would say if you do have a small dog, try to avoid picking them up and carrying them up and down if absolute, unless like absolutely necessary. Um, just because when you put them down, it can confuse and disorientate them 
and it might lower their confidence a little bit. Um, so yeah, I would urge you to try and teach them and encourage them to go up and down the steps just with your assistance. Have a think about what new toys that you can buy for your dog as well particularly ones with a scent or a noise. I know my dog loves a squeaker, so like soft toys with squeakers in as well are always good for play. Something that they can sort of tap into different sensory needs with. So think they've not got their eyes anymore, but they can smell, they can hear, they can touch. So how can you really sort of play on that to help your dog? And then I've saved the best till last, keeping to a routine. If you want your dog to build confidence quite quickly and feel secure and happy if they know what they're going to be doing each time of day they are going to build this so much quicker and um, so try and keep things into a nice little routine so try and take them for a walk at the same time every day and feeding them at the same time um, and then in the evening they know that they can chill out all fours in the air, absolutely loving life, just chilling with mum and dad and they can just let their hair down and enjoy the time. So I hope you found some of these tips useful um, by following things like this and being consistent, your dog will build confidence so much quicker and the transition to blindness or easing into blindness, they will find much easier as well with your support. So good luck, uh, let me know how you get on. Um, I've also got a few other videos on my channel, check those out if you want some more help and let me know how you get on. Enjoy the rest of your day.